Hi, I'm Willie. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for being here, and I appreciate each and every one of you. And what we... Oh, yeah. Check this out. So, we do a lot of stuff here, right? So, I've had to start... Um, had to start keeping notes, things I want to I want to uh, talk about. So you'll see these note cards. These note cards will be uh, in some of the videos when we're talking about products. You know, I've got things like highlighted that I want to make sure that I talk about. And so that is what the note cards, that's what they're going to be for. So we got my uh, logo on the back. I thought that was pretty nifty. And then on the other side, it's just got some notes written, things like that. But tonight, what we're going to talk about is the uh, Ubiquity. This is the Edge Switch 10X. This is a new switch from Ubiquity. It is a 10-port, uh, 10-port switch. And I'm going to go ahead and take it out of the box real quick. Show you what comes in the box. Show you what it is um, compatible with. So. It is actually compatible with the uh, with the uh, universal uh, mounting bracket. Now this says Edge Router 4, Edge Router 6 uh, mounting bracket, but it will uh, this should fit in there, and we'll try that here in a second as well. So inside the box we have the switch. We have a quick start quick start guide and we're gonna after we look at this guy and all the accessories and everything we're gonna take him over to the computer we're gonna power him up and uh, take a look at the interface because it is a little bit different there are um, mounting and grounding screws here and uh, there's also a clip to hold the uh, the power cable so if it's plugged in, you can put this clip on it. it. will help hold the power cable. That's pretty neat. And then, of course, anchors and the screws. And then we have the power supply. And this power supply, this is a 24-volt, uh, 1-amp uh, power adapter, DC power adapter. You can see the end of the barrel there is, is green. Um, by the way, I'm shooting this video with autofocus off. A lot of people ask for me to turn autofocus off, so let me know if you like it with autofocus off. All right, so uh, the next thing that you want to look at, this is the switch itself. And you know what? I don't know if I can do this without, without the autofocus. So I'm going to turn autofocus back on. <laughs> and... Uh, all right, so this is the, the Edge Switch 10 itself. On the back, you have the uh, barrel connector. It's green, matches the green uh, power on the, the green end on the power adapter. On the front, you can see uh, on the switch here, over here, we've got two SFP ports. These are not SFP plus. These are just SFP. You've got your... Um, reset button there then you've got the other eight one gigabit ports over here we have a status light of course the um, logo so some of the information about this switch it is the 10x there is a 10 XP which um, we will go over that switch in another video but um, so we said that this has got eight one gigabit copper ports, two SFP, standard SFP, not SFP plus. So just one gigabit ports. And I always recommend buying Ubiquity brand SFPs when you're working with these because we know that they're going to work. Um, it has a switching capacity of 20 gigabits. So you've got 10 ports, full duplex. So that's uh, 20 gigabits simultaneously there. It's got a forwarding rate of 14.88 million packets per second. Now, the one thing uh, that I don't know that we talked about, on the front of the switch, you can see that uh, it's got um, PoE in and PoE out. So you can actually power this switch with passive PoE or with the included adapter. 
you can also then go into the software and on this PoE out port that's here, you can um, you can go ahead and send 24 volt passive out of that that port. All right, what else do we need to talk about? Of course, it is wall or uh, rack mountable. Weighs in at 1.1 pounds with no pass through PoE enabled. This guy is going to draw eight watts. The uh, PoE out is 24 volt with a maximum of 15 watts and it is passive PoE. The switch is UNMS compatible with the current firmware. And they did make some changes in the firmware on this. Uh, like they removed the layer three stuff, you know, things that these smaller switches just aren't going to do. So this is a great layer two device and uh, we'll take a look at that. But let's uh, real quick, we'll take this rack mount kit out. Maybe. Let's see here. This one is still sealed. So we'll take this kit out and we'll see if indeed this new switch. All right, so the rack mount kit, it came with uh, some cage nuts, but then we've got something really important, which is the screws to be able to put into your device to hold it into this mounting apparatus. So they pack these, uh, they have foam in the back so they don't get bent and dinged up before you get them. We want you to bend these and ding these, not UPS. So on the newer model, uh, you can see how the window window slides to accommodate. So that probably looks like, hmm, the engineers were thinking maybe an Edge Router 12 will fit in here. Hmm? Yeah, maybe maybe an Edge Router 12 will fit in here. And this is a standard 19 inch, you know, it fits. And if we look at this, that's pretty sweet looking, right? So the holes, the holes do match up. So yes, this Edge Switch 10X and the 10XP and all of the new Edge routers will all fit in this universal. I'm calling it universal. I'm not sure what the name is on Ubiquiti's site anymore, but um, we are going to go ahead and we're going to take this over to our Edge Router X that we've been dealing with with PFSense. And instead of plugging a power adapter in, we're going to go ahead, we're going to configure the Edge Router to kick on its passive PoE. And we're gonna power this from an edge router and see how that works out for us. So let's get to it. All right, so we are over here at the computer and how I have this hooked up is I have an, the edge router 10X. I've got a single ethernet cable for the moment coming into the PoE in port. Then I have my edge router X here and I have uh, on port, uh, the ETH4 physical port 5, uh, I have the other end of this cable plugged in. Now we're going to configure this to be, uh, we're going to tell the edge router to do pass through PoE. We're going to boot this router, we're, or the switch, we're going to find the switch, and uh, we're going to take a look at the configuration. So I really wish these switches uh, would have been around uh, last year, the year before. I got a lot of little D-Link um, switches out there. And these are these are perfect replacements. So let's hop over to our edge router. This is the same edge router that we've been uh, working in, so you should be familiar with it. So here it is. We're going to pull up. We're on the dashboard. We're going to pull up our ports. We're going to go to ETH4. We're going to go to Actions. And then we're going to go to PoE. And right here where it says PoE off, we're going to select PoE pass-through. It's going to give us a warning that if the device that is connected is not PoE pass-through compatible. We could damage it. We're going to say yes. We're going to save that. And uh, with that, it will turn the PoE on. And now you can see we've got a blue light that is boot booting. As soon as this is white, we will uh, check our toolbox. We'll check our um, discovery and see if we can see this device. So it is uh, blinking white now. So it is booting, so we'll just have to be patient. And as soon as it's booted, we will uh, we'll check that out and get down to business here.
All right, so I've got a solid white light. I've cruised on over to DHCP server. I do see four leases, which tells me that this does have an IP address because um, I only had two devices um, and then my PC connected with wireless. So that would be a total of four devices. Let's see if we see it under discover. We do. And it is 3.43. So we can go ahead and open this up. And we'll go ahead and we'll zoom this in a little bit here. And default username and password, UBNT, UBNT. The first time we log in, they are now making us change our password. So I'm going to select a new password here. And you can see that it... Um, the password will not only be used for this, but it will be used. They should take Telnet out of there completely. Now, this is the latest version of the software, which is 1.1. And if you have one of these switches and it does not have 1.1, go on over to download.ubnt.com, download that, and get upgraded. We're going to go ahead and change the password. Yeah, Telnet should not even be a thing. All right, so you can see that this is a very familiar interface, except this is the Edge Router. 10x so everything in here is the same as when we reviewed this new um, interface now the one thing that you can't do here is you can't go back to the legacy interface the legacy interface does not exist for this device so if i go over here and i click user i get change password i get log out i got my unms button but i do not get a legacy uh, interface option we can come in here we can add vlans tag just like we do on every other um, edge switch we can come in here change the name set our UNMS there's SSH which we're going to go ahead and enable so we can take a look at some of this stuff um, down here you can see we run all the standard uh, spanning tree stuff it does have device discovery you can see that here and it can also scan the neighborhood Enable function of embedded discovery tools and enable scanning of this device's network neighborhood. So it can also discover devices. Um, it does jumbo frames. We could change the web server port. There's really no reason to do that. We've got our remote syslog. We can set a static IP on it if necessary. So it's a really nice, really simple um, interface. So here's the discovery tool now. Discovery is disabled. We got ping and then of course we've got our mac address so i told you that some of that layer 3 stuff has been taken out so let's uh, pull up the uh, ssh here and this is probably tiny for you guys i wonder if i have a way to let me see if i can change the settings here real quick window terminal do i have a way to make this to blow this up for you guys here appearance here we go font change it eh, 18 point eh, 20 points should be big enough for all y'all okay so session apply we're going to log in as UBNT, UBN, uh, it's not UBNT, it's a different super secret password. And so now you can see that we are logged in to the switch and question mark gives us our commands. Go to configure and you can see the, the layer three stuff is gone. So we can come in here, we can set IPs. It's a very slim down, very uh, trim very optimized uh, version of the edge switch software you look at this surveillance LAN settings voice vlan settings so they they're making some really positive changes with this and i really like it so if you haven't had a chance to check it out and you have one of these make sure you enable ssh and you get in there and you know you you experiment so I really like this switch. I think I'm going to do uh, a lot of replacing smaller switches where I don't need um, maybe standard PoE or, or PoE at all um, with these guys. And I think these guys are coming in right around 100, 120 bucks, but you can manage them through 
uh, UNMS, and it's got they do have a lot of advanced layer two features, no layer three features though. So that's it for this video. If you like the video, please give me a thumbs up. Please leave any feedback about the quality of the video down below. I am experimenting with settings, and you know I struggled with that autofocus earlier. But if you've got, uh, you know, if you want to let me know what you think of the, you know, experimenting and the, the audio and everything, please do let me know down in the comments. But um, if you want to follow me on Twitter and Instagram, the links are down below. If you need uh, IT consulting, uh, best practices, best pra pra best best practice, not in speaking, best practice uh, configuration for uh, voice over IP, wired and wireless networking, and information security and assurance, go to willyhow.com, fill out that contact form, and somebody will be in touch with you as soon as possible. If we can't help you, we will get you to a vendor who can. That is our promise to you. Um, if you want to become a patron through our Patreon, I appreciate all those folks. The link is down below. Uh, our Discord link is down below. Come on over and say hi. If you want to buy one of these edge switches, I did leave an Amazon affiliate link down below as well as the link to my store. As always, from the bottom of my heart, I appreciate each and every one of you, and I'll see you in the next video.